On November 16, 1982, Lockheed presented the SR-71I, armed with AIM-120 air-to-air missiles. Since the AIM-120 had a built-in radar transmitter and was a fire-and-forget missile, it was chosen over the AIM-7 Sparrow. The SR-71I would be outfitted with the F-A-18 Hornets ANAPG-65 radar, which has a spectrum of detection of 115 miles and a tracking radius of 92 miles, in order to support the new AIM-120s. For the SR-71I's base, the AIM-120 missiles would have redesigned fins. A long-range and fast interceptor against the newest generation of Soviet AWACS, such as the Beriv A-50 mainstay, was the SR-71I's intended duty. The Tu-160 Blackjack bombers were to be intercepted as an additional duty. Please take note that Lockheed's proposal was to modify seven existing SR-71 airframes rather than manufacture new ones. They would be deployed at Loring Air Force Base in northeastern Maine. The SR-71I could take off from this location, fly to Soviet targets in Scandinavia, and land in either Greenland or England for recovery.